We are just hours away from March Madness beginning in Sacramento. Most of the eight teams have arrived here. Golden One Center tweeted out pictures today of the teams arriving. Most are here. UCLA will not arrive, however, until tomorrow. Now, bars and restaurants in downtown Sacramento are getting ready for large crowds. Several St. Patrick's Day block parties are going to fill downtown streets Friday. CBS 13's Drew Balea is getting answers on what police are doing to prepare for both the basketball and St. Patrick's Day celebrations. Drew? Yeah, it's going to be a busy, busy day on Friday. This place is going to be packed. This is Malton Mash, and just outside here, the general manager tells me they're going to be cycling through about seven to ten thousand people when they take over this park. They're going to have a fenced-in block party for St. Patrick's Day, and that's going to have thousands of people. And also, feet away, there will be thousands of people at the Golden One Center taking in some good basketball games for March Madness. Garnering a lot of attention. This is the main event is here. The first round of the NCAA tournament is happening in Sacramento. I mean, anything you can do to bring more people to town is important. Restaurant owners like Henry Devere White are preparing for the large crowds. But not all people are venturing out just for the basketball games. Maybe they leave work a little earlier. Maybe they stay a little longer. On Friday, several pubs are opening early, 9 a.m., for St. Patrick's Day celebrations. Food, booze, and basketball. The Sacramento police will be watching it all. Strategically place our resources in areas where they're going to be the most effective. Sergeant Bryce Heinlein says the department has a plan in place for the large crowds, similar to a typical NBA game night. Staffing is something that uh, people are going to see a lot of officers in and around our downtown area. Only this time, it's St. Patrick's Day, and there will be four games on Friday, two on Sunday. We are going to have a big influx of people into the city through the whole weekend. Heinlein says police will put the recently released real-time crime center to work. Inside here, officers and civilian staff monitor computers and cameras. They can see patrol officers on a grid map, and they can track and route them through GPS in real time. And as they see things occur, they can relay to officers working in that specific area. A green good time in Sacramento, police monitoring it all. We have a good plan and we're just hoping that everybody enjoys themselves and stays safe. So you'll have the police watching from above. You'll have the police watching on foot, walking in and out of all these different events. And you'll also see some extra patrols out there specifically looking for drunk drivers, which is why um, uh, Sergeant Heinlein, who I spoke with today, is encouraging anyone who's taking part, especially in some of these St. Patrick's Day festivities, uses some ride sharing programs or taxis to get around. All right, Drew, thanks so much. Live Force Night in downtown Sacramento.